All right, Game Maker, how to make the player move towards the mouse. You don't want to use keyboard uh, to make your little guy here move. You just want them to follow where the mouse goes, and then uh, maybe you do some other stuff with the keys and the mouse buttons to fire. Okay, shouldn't be too bad. Player object. Uh, what we want to do here is, basically this is in the step event. Constantly, we want to be asking or telling the player to change the direction and move towards the mouse. Since this is constantly happening, they're not clicking a key, they're not pressing a button, this should be in the step event. Okay, so it's always being done. So just ignore that code that's already there for the image and let's go on this one. Now there's really two parts to this one. There's setting the direction and there's setting the speed, which is a little bit of a, a tricky part there. We'll set afterwards. So let's do the direction first. A game maker, popular variable, and the popular variable, or sorry, variable, the popular method is called point direction. This will calculate a direction from one point, x, y, to a second point, x2, y2. And so our first point here is wherever the player is. So from the player, x, comma, y, to the location of the mouse. Now, of course, Game Maker is keeping track of where the mouse is, and it does this in two variables called mouse underscore x and mouse underscore y. So basically, it'll run through this method. It'll take these two parameters and these two parameters, and it'll calculate out the angle for you. And basically, you're saying, hey, player, set your direction equal to whatever angle that method returns. Okay, so that one works pretty well. Setting the speed. Now, there's different things here. Some people might just be happy with saying the player always walks at four. Okay, some people might want to say, you know what? I want the player to walk faster if the mouse is farther away. So I'll show you that in a bit. Let's see this actually working, though. Okay, so not bad. Moves towards the mouse. Now you'll see there the sprite never faces down. Okay, I'll show you a quick way we can start examining that. And you'll also notice something else there. Spazzy, spazzy when they actually reach the location of the mouse. Let's take care of the spazzy, spazzy behavior there. So uh, it's not going to send you into an epileptic fit when you watch that. So here we go. Since the player gets on top of the mouse, what eventually happens is, is they get a little bit above the mouse, then they're a little bit below the mouse, a little bit above the mouse, a little bit below the mouse, and it starts to do that shake. And so what we can do here is we can ask a really quick question before we do all this stuff. We can ask about how far away the player is from the mouse. If they're really close to the mouse, we're not going to bother doing any of this code. We're just going to get out of here. So let's do this method. I'm going to say the distance. So this is a little variable I'm just making quickly. The distance equals point. Whoops, not point direction. This one is point distance. Just like there's a method called point direction that tells you the direction between two points, there's a method that tells you the distance between two points. So what I'm doing here is I'm finding the distance between the player's X and Y and the mouse's X and Y. Now I'm just going to ask a quick question. If the distance is less than 5, I'm just going to get out of here. Exit. And when you use that exit command, it basically just leaves this page of script here. Okay, So it's not going to bother continuing down and doing anything else. Okay, so that's one way you could do it. The other way I could have said is I could have said if the distance is bigger than 5, please run this code. That's another way I could have done it. Okay, but I'll just leave it like this for now. Okay, so if the distance is less than 5, I'm out of here. Now when we actually give it a run, we've at least fixed that part. Sort of. Okay. Okay. That's almost worse. Let me show you how I'm going to fix that. 
if the distance is less than 5, let's set our speed to 0. And then we exit out of here. You see what was happening there was I was never actually stopping my player. So they just kept moving over the mouse. Now hopefully this works. Okay, perfect. Now, you may ask yourself, my player's always facing up, what do I do now? I mean, if you haven't watched the video that's called Changing Player Sprites, you should go watch that one. But basically what I have to do here is just change player sprites. I'll give you an example really quickly of how I would change the player sprite to the right direction. After I've set the direction and I've set the speed, I'll just do one of the directions here. I'm going to set the correct sprite. So I'm asking a really quick question here. I'm going to say if the direction of the player. Uh, I can choose my directions here. Uh, let's do the uh, walking down. If it's bigger than 225 and the direction is less than or equal to 315, sprite index equals... Oh, maybe I chose bad directions here. Sprite, player, up. I don't think that's the right sprite I really want for this, but we'll see what happens. So basically I'm just saying, hey, if that direction that was just found and set, if it's between that angle and that angle, then I should be using this sprite. And if you haven't seen that video again called... Uh, changing player sprites. You should go look at that one. It just talks about that a bit more. Okay, and that's how I change a sprite. Let's see if our code works now. Now, unfortunately, this was player sprite up the whole time. Another big uh, error on my part here. Let's change this to down. That should be the sprite we want. Mistakes happen, and... There we go. Now he's always down, though. So technically what you'd want to do is you'd want to change this. So you'd have to have four if statements here. Check all the sort of angles and directions that you want to change your sprite to. And you just have your another if statement, if the direction is. And just keep going. Check your four directions. And uh, set the sprites accordingly. Hopefully that helps get you started. And you can use that in your game. Thanks for watching.